The Mattis Drain Set A is used in pneumothorax, tension pneumothorax, pleural effusion, pleural empima, acetase, pericardial effusion, and paravertebral abscess. The Mattis Drain Set A is used for draining air and fluid from body cavities. It consists of the following parts. A puncture unit with a draining catheter placed inside. A slip-on fixture with three-way stopcock and non-return valve. An anti-bending tube. A Y non-return valve unit. A syringe. and a secretion bag. Open the sterile pack. Take out the sterile parts and remove the protective cap from the perforation unit. Check the flexibility of the catheter. Close the three-way stopcock opening pointing to the metal cannula. Take the anti-bending tube off and push it over the end of the catheter. Keep catheter closed between thumb and index. Remove the plug and push the catheter up to the blue cone. The anti-bending tube must be firmly attached to the blue cone. The system is now ready for use in a pneumothorax without effusion. First, connect the one-way valve of the slip-on fixture to the lure connector of the Y non-return valve unit. Then connect the one-way valve of the Y non-return valve unit with the secretion back tube. Once the plug has been removed from the other opening of the Y non-return valve, connect the aspiration syringe. Open the three-way stopcock to allow secreted fluid to be pumped or drawn into the bag. If you want to use the system for installation or aspiration, or to flush the whole system, connect the syringe to the lateral connector of the three-way stopcock. The two other connectors have non-return valves that prevent any flow in the system towards the catheter. In pleural effusion, the first step is to determine the perforation site. The site is then disinfected and locally anesthetized. Insert the cannula with the catheter inside into the pleural space in a gently rotating movement. Hold on to the sheath and push the catheter through the cannula into the pleural space until the black catheter markings are no longer visible. Remove the cannula and push the anti-bending tube over the end of the catheter. Remove the stopper from the slip-on fixture and slip the catheter on the metal cannula. Make sure the anti-bending tube is pushed firmly over it. Once the Y non-return valve unit and the secretion bag have been connected, the aspiration syringe can be used to draw fluid from the pleural space into the secretion bag. The fluid can run off freely if the bag is placed on the ground. In a pneumothorax where only air and not fluid is extracted in patients being transported, all that is needed is to connect the slip-on fixture to the catheter. The three-way stopcock must remain open at all times. 
The non-return valve prevents air from entering the pleural space. The matter strain set A has the following advantages. The catheter can be used anywhere. No surgical intervention and no surgical instruments are needed. It leaves only a small puncture and no visible scars. Patients retain their mobility. The catheter can remain in place for up to 30 days. Patients can be transported by plane. Due to the dual non-return valve, fluid can be pumped off.